The nice setup is that we can move really quickly and swiftly to advance this project and, and, and bring those value catalysts to the market. Talking gold today with Bruce from Storm Exploration. And previously we had you on the show for Max Resource. <laughs> Bruce, what is this all about? Well, Storm uh, announced today that we've acquired a project called the Too Good Project, which is on the north coast of the province of Newfoundland in Canada. It, it's a high grade gold project with enough drilling to know that we're in the right place. There's, uh, there's some good high grade hits, but uh, all the discovery potential is left intact. It's got great access, it's right along the road. It's fully permitted for drilling and has drill targets. Uh, and you know, it's, uh, it's a great jurisdiction and the terms for the acquisition were very reasonable. So we're very excited about this acquisition. I can imagine. And okay, let's uh, walk through that acquisition step by step. Let's first talk about what have you actually acquired. So maybe talk through the size of the property, the drill results that have already been completed, that kind of stuff. Right, so uh, the Too Good project is located in uh, on the north coast of the province of Newfoundland. It's road accessible uh, and and fully permitted for drilling. The property itself is about 118 square kilometers. So, uh, you know, it's a big district scale property, but the main focus is where the, the prospector from whom we're acquiring the project did some drilling in 2022 on something called the Quinlan zone or the Quinlan prospect and had some great high grade hits. Um, let me just, uh, I'll just quote them from uh, the recent news release that we put out. Uh, 23.9 grams of gold over 3.65 meters, 18.27 grams over 4.25 meters, and 9.4 grams over three meters. So nice high grade hits uh, on a, a a set of felsic dikes that uh, they've proven the mineralization exists over a 200 meter strike length and down dip by 120 meters but remains open in all directions so it's really got that potential to be a multi-million ounce uh, district scale property uh, and that's proven by the Quinlan but there are other prospects uh, and showings on this property that can be followed up in time. But the first order of business is to focus in on that Quinlan zone, which is really the, the primary focus of the project. Okay, makes complete sense. And of course, those numbers are phenomenal, but perhaps you're able to put that in a bit more context because when you say 23.9 grams of gold per ton, that doesn't sound like a lot, even though it is actually really high purity. So could you put that in a bit more context? Yeah, well, so, so it's a fairly, that's a high grade hit. I think, you know, if, if gold deposits come in all shapes and forms and there are many gold deposits around the world which run one or between one and two grams of gold uh, per ton as their head grade so when you get into that three and four grams per ton and higher for your average grade of a project that's quite high grade and really what that does is it affects the economics because your 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 value per ton of rock just goes up so much and, and makes the mining you know the, the profitability of the mine much greater so high grade gold if you can find two to you know, one to three million ounces of high grade gold, it's very attractive to producers. Makes complete sense. Then the last question I have regarding the deposit, uh, you're talking about a potential multi ounce resource. Can you put that in perspective? What does it actually mean for the economics of a potential mine in the future? So, you know, you can, small mines can have much less than a million, two to three million ounces, uh, no question, and be quite profitable for small producers. But our goal at Storm is to find a multi million ounce deposit that would attract a larger producer to come in and buy either the company or, or the project itself. And, and most producers, large scale producers that are willing to do transactions like that are, are looking for that scale of deposits where you've got one to three million ounces or more. Um, obviously more is, is, is better. But I think in, the, in our case where we're dealing with a, a road accessible project, the bar is a little bit lower because your cost of you know building infrastructure and getting a mine going would be quite a bit lower. So at one to three million ounce threshold, I believe would attract a lot of potential suitors. And about uh, the mineralization in this new gold project, what are we uh, looking at in kind of mineralization? It's well, it's gold hosted in a, a felsic dike, which is a, a felsic dike. So that's a kind of volcanic or, or um, intrusive rock uh, that has uh, been that's carrying the gold. The gold can be everywhere from very fine grained right up to to visual size pieces. So you know, it's it's free gold, which is always good. In in terms of the processing. It's a little early days to be talking about what processing would look like, but when you see that kind of free gold, that's generally a very good sign. Great to uh, hear that. And uh, my next
next question, what will the next steps uh, be for Storm Exploration at uh, this new project? Sure. The next step on the project for us is to uh, to get in and, and the, as I mentioned, the Quinlan zone, which is where all those high grade drill results came in from 2022. There are places there where it's ready to go drilling and, and we'd like to work to expand and extend that uh, that mineralization at the Quinlan zone. But we'll also have a secondary strategy here, which is to go out and look, as I think I mentioned, there are numerous gold showings on this large property. Uh, so we want to get some boots on the ground out there looking at those different prospects and trying to develop them into drill ready targets, because it's important when you're exploring a place like this to have a pipeline of targets to explore so that you know, you're always moving the project forward. All right, makes complete sense. And that just leaves last, my last question. How much did Storm uh, pay for this uh, property? Uh, right, so it's a combination of cash and shares that we're paying for the properties, and there's a there's a, a two tiered option. So our first 55% interest in the project requires the company to first spend three and a half million dollars uh, on exploration, so on the ground that's drilling and doing geophysics, uh, soil sampling, that sort of thing out over three years. So in the first year and a half, we're to spend $1.5 million. And in the second year and a half, it's $2 million. In addition to that, there's a schedule of payments for shares to the company, which in the total over the three year period, uh, it comes to 4 million shares, but almost all of those shares are on the last at the end of the of the acquisition. So right at the end is we acquire that 55%. So it's not, you know, that dilution really only comes when we have the certainty that we want to continue to acquire this project and move it forward. Now we can acquire the last 45% of the project, so bringing us to a 100% ownership, by either uh, paying Prospector $12 million in storm shares or 19.9% of the company, whichever is less. So the maximum we would pay for that additional 45% would be $12 million. Obviously, if it's uh, if it's got a $12 million value, we've had a great deal of success on the project. And I think we would be very happy to pay that kind of money for uh, for the remaining 45%. Makes complete sense, Bruce. Thank you so much for this comprehensive overview of this acquisition and uh, what it actually means for the company. So really appreciate it. Anything that you would like to add for the viewers at home? No, I think uh, one of the most important things is to, as again, is that the project is fully permitted. So that really allows Storm to get on the boots on the ground here quickly and start doing the drilling and that's where we can add value so i think that you know the the nice setup is that we can move really quickly and swiftly to advance this project and and, and bring those value catalysts to the market